Hello everybody, welcome to the Rock and Crystals channel. Today we are going to be touching briefly upon the legend of the Crystal Skulls. These are very cool. Uh, crystal Skulls are a beautiful design that crystals can be carved into, making them look very much like human skulls. And sometimes even the skulls of extraterrestrials, perhaps. Now the skulls are reproduced all over the world. However, the original crystal skulls have an incredible story and legend behind them. So there are said to be 12 of the rare crystal skulls in private and public collections. Some of the very clear crystal skulls uh, have been made with rock quartz and some of them have been made with smoky quartz. Some of the crystal skulls are about as large as a human skull with a lot of detail carved into them. Others are smaller and less detailed, but most of the crystal skulls are thought to come from Central America. The thought and belief is that the skulls were carved possibly uh, as far back as 10,000 years ago by ancient civilizations, perhaps even further back than that. Now this is very interesting because crystal quartz, clear quartz, uh, has been thought and uh, theorized to be capable of holding data and information. In fact, modern uh, hard drive manufacturing companies are even experimenting with crystal hard drives as a means of storing massive amounts of information. And there are some speculation uh, as to, for example, the Lemurian crystal, which has those interesting ridges and grooves that have been carved into it, which looks something like the grooves on a record or a, or a hard drive. Now, could the ancient crystal skulls contain the record of all history and civilization? Maybe. <laughs> now, I know that sounds like a pretty uh, amazing thought and idea, but there are some that speculate that uh, some of the ancient crystal skulls have been carved so intricately by and in such a way that ancient tools could not have reproduced that particular level of detail in the carving uh, that perhaps they were carved and created by more advanced lost civilizations and perhaps even they are they contain data they perhaps they contain the history of the ages and one day we might be able to actually read that data and learn everything about what has happened before now that is a wild and crazy and also amazing theory that I, I very much like. Now, some believe the ancient crystal skulls to be from the ancient land of Atlantis, and some people have dedicated their lives to studying crystal skulls, and it is said, in fact, that even that the skulls may have healing powers, uh, and that they have also helped people to expand on their psychic abilities. There is an, actually uh, the Indiana Jones movie, uh, and the Lost Kingdom of uh, the Kingdom of the of the Crystal Skull, I believe it is called, uh, is based upon these crystal skulls. Uh, legend says that the skulls were shared by the Aztecs and the Mayans, as the skulls uh, and crystals were very sacred to them. The crystal skulls were said to have been handed down through generations, which is why they have so much power and are highly revered. The legend of the Great Flood, which was shared by many different cultures and marked the end time for everyone in the ancient world, much like the legend of the world was going to end in 2012. Luckily, that didn't happen, but it is speculated that uh, 10 to 15,000 years ago, there may have been actually a Great Flood, and this is actually referenced in a lot of ancient uh, biblical sources. A lot, a lot of ancient religions do reference a great flood, and uh, interestingly enough, if you study the work of Graham Hancock, uh, he and uh, and his partner have actually studied the uh, uh, the formation of the way that the soil and the land uh, in much of North America is created and the different layers and they've actually fairly conclusively proven I believe if not conclusively proven that there was indeed an ancient flood uh, 10 or 20,000 years ago I'm not exactly sure uh, but it did cause a mass extinction 
Uh, I hope, hopefully this doesn't bum anybody out too much, but it did cause a mass extinction of much of the uh, megafauna, which is the large life forms, woolly mammoths, and uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure, whatever was around at that time, large life forms. And interestingly enough, there are even giant boulders which, you can be, which can be found in the middle of, of nowhere, on flat ground. And uh, the only explanation for how they, how they got there uh, is in, in the middle of nowhere uh, could be that they were moved in ancient icebergs. So during the Great Flood, icebergs uh, would have picked up these giant geo, uh, geo samples, rocks and various other things, and then floated them to a random location somewhere in North America. And then as they melted, they would have just been deposited there. So there's all sorts of very fascinating evidence to prove uh, that a great flood did actually happen and that perhaps and probably, in fact, it wiped out an ancient civilization of advanced humans that we have entirely forgotten about. And uh, that, in fact, ancient, our ancient history is so rich uh, and so full of wonder that there were ancients that preceded us, highly technologically advanced ancients. Anyway, I'm getting off the point because this is fascinating stuff to me. Anyway, the legend, as told by a Native American Cherokee medicine man, Harley Swift Deer Reagan, said that the crystal skulls were housed in a pyramid in a form called Ark. Now, there were 12 skulls, one of them uh, for each of the sacred plants, with the largest one in the center, which represents the collective consciousness of all people, worlds, and planets. It is said that all of the crystal skulls would link up to this one large skull uh, with their energy. Now, the skulls have been dispersed all around the world, and most have special keepers. They all hold the energy and wisdom of the sacred and spiritual ancient teaching, teachings, or rather it is speculated that they may. And the information will be available when all of the skulls are brought back together. I'm not exactly sure if it's 12 or 13 skulls, but it's somewhere around there. Today, you can get crystal skulls in a variety of different crystals like clear quartz, rose quartz, amethyst, obsidian, and smoky quartz. These carvings are, of course, not the ancient, uh, genuine source skulls, of course, but they are very, very, very cool uh, crystal carvings. We were actually thinking about getting some of those into the shop. I've, uh, I've I've been thinking about this for a while. If you guys want would like to see some crystal quartz skulls in in the crystal shop in our crystal shop, let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely expedite that if there's enough demand for it. Uh, you can use these crystal skulls uh, in your home. They make fantastic decoration, and the power of uh, of such a beautifully pieced carved piece of quartz or smoky quartz or amethyst is just a fantastic resonance frequency that fills your entire space so i hope you have enjoyed today's video on the legend of the crystal skulls and i hope to see everybody in the next video have a great day consider dropping a like on this video if you liked it it really helps this channel to grow and subscribe if you're interested in learning more about crystals because we are going to be talking about different crystals every single day and if you're looking to buy crystals and gemstones check out our rock and crystal shop linked in the description below it definitely helps to support this channel when you shop for crystals at our shop and lastly we are doing a crystal giveaway from our rock and crystal shop every time we upload a new video you are allowed to enter into our crystal giveaway contest. All you need to do is leave a comment and let us know what you love about crystals. Also, be subscribed to this channel, and we will choose for every single video that we upload a random winner from our commenters to receive a lovely prize from our Rockin' Crystal Shop. You may enter into as many contests as you want. Every single video is a new contest, and I hope to see everybody in the next video.